This video was produced by Virginia View, a consortium dedicated to promoting remote sensing outreach, education, and research through funding by the America View Consortium. This video was developed in partnership with the Virginia Geospatial Extension Program and GeoTED UAS. Its contents are solely the responsibility of the authors and do not necessarily represent the official views of America View, the USGS, or other partners. The mention of trade names or commercial products does not constitute their endorsement. A geodatabase is a container in which GIS data files, such as vector, raster, and table or spreadsheets, can be stored. In this chapter, we add the Mid-Atlantic shapefiles from previous chapters to the Chapter 5 project's geodatabase. This procedure imports a copy of the shapefile, leaving the original untouched. This has obvious benefits should the data in your project become corrupt. Let's get started. Here, I started with a blank project. I named it Chapter 5, and I connect it to my data folder. If you don't see the Contents pane, select the Catalog tab to expose the list of items on the left side. Open Folders. You will see a list of project folders, in our case, Chapter 5. If you don't see your project, refer back to Chapter 4 on how to connect to a folder. Open your project folder and expand it. Three items are listed in the window. Import log, chapter5.gdb, and chapter5.tbx. If you don't see the import log, don't worry. It will show up after you start processing data. The GDB is the geodatabase. The TBX is the toolbox for this project. Remember from Chapter 1, we won't cover the toolbox in this book. Opening our GDB, you can see it's empty. Use the navigation arrows to go back. Now let's add those Mid-Atlantic shapefiles to it. Right-click on the geodatabase and point to Import. You can import a single feature class or multiple feature classes. Let's choose Feature Classes because we're going to import all files related to Mid-Atlantic. The geoprocessing window opens. Click on the File folder for Input Features to navigate to the folder where the original files are located. Since we are adding all files named Mid-Atlantic, select each one to add it. In the geoprocessing window, all of the selected files are listed under Input Features. The original names will be retained on import. Clicking Run initiates the Feature Class 2 Geodatabase Geoprocessing tool. The status bar at the bottom of the geoprocessing window shows the procedure and process, and the message will appear when the tool has finished processing. This window may be in a different location of your display depending on your view. I moved it to the middle so you could see it a little better. Close the geoprocessing window. The shapefiles are now in the project's geodatabase. If they aren't visible in the catalog window, open the geodatabase to view its contents. You will see the new Mid-Atlantic feature classes. Note that this process does not add data to a map, just to the geodatabase. Go back to your folders view of the geodatabase and let's look at the other options. 
right-click on the geodatabase. In that menu, New is used for creating new data, which is beyond the scope of this book. Import can also be used to add a table or a spreadsheet to the geodatabase. Export is used to export data to other formats. In this chapter, we showed you how to import shapefiles into a geodatabase. In the next chapter, we demonstrate adding data to the map in your project.